Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Thursday. Uh, I didn't film yesterday. Yesterday, the uh, November 8th was my dad's birthday. He would have been 92. And it was also four months to the day since he died. And I just, I needed a day to just not do anything. I sat around. I did a, a minimal amount of work. You know, there's always a few things I got to do. So I um, had, you know, a few Etsy orders and just back end stuff. But otherwise, I sat in the living room on my new furniture, which I will show you here in a bit. Um, and just had YouTube videos on, I played games on my phone, I snuggled with the dogs. I just needed a day of like nothing, which was good for me. Um, furniture did come, again, I'll show you when I get home. I'll have to insert a photo of it first because now it's covered with blankets <laughs> because of the dogs. The dogs at first were like, what's this? Now they're loving it. I basically spent $2,500 on a chair for me, a rocker recliner that I'm liking, another rocker recliner that I'm like piling up with stuff, and then this giant sectional that they have been like, wow, this is great. We love this for ourselves. It's like a jungle gym for them. Then they're stretched out nappy. So anyway, um, I am at the consignment store right now, and then I'm going to go downtown, check my peel box, and then there's a Goodwill pop-up that has like holiday stuff, so I thought I'd check that out. But I will um, start now by telling you the kind of bad news. And that is that I have taken out all of the physical stickers and magnets out of my Etsy shop. And I know so many of you have shopped that store and I so appreciate it and I've loved it. It was fun. It gave me a project and a fun hobby to do really while I was taking care of my dad. But, um, and you know, I've been taking, um, I haven't been replenishing anything and I've been taking things down and switching to a digital clip art shop, but I have continuously been getting orders that haven't gotten there, haven't arrived in time. The ones that ship via first class mail. So basically three ounces or less, you can ship via first class mail, which is a stamp. So like three stamps, one, two stamps, one stamp. And those ship with Etsy. You get a, a printing label or printing label, a shipping label from Etsy with the tracking, but the tracking rarely updates with the first class mail. It's there, but it rarely does. You get four ounces or up and then it's going to ship via ground advantage or priority. And then you get reliable tracking. And I have just been getting hit with a continuous, my order isn't here. It hasn't come. And once it hasn't arrived, the shipping doesn't even update. So it's like if the order has started to track and then it stops, you can file a claim with Etsy and like the post office lost it. But if all it shows it's it didn't even go, that's on me and I have to refund. Most of the time, the orders end up arriving. They're just later letters, they got whatever. But because they didn't, you know, they didn't arrive when it said it was going to, I have to refund. And I got another one this morning. And this is no, anybody who's contacted me and said they didn't get, it's not your fault. I'm not blaming you at all. I feel so bad because I always pride myself on good customer service and people ordering things and they don't get them. And I'm just, I have become so stressed out over it. And the one, the, you know, another one this morning, like, hey, I didn't get it. And I'm like, I'm done. I'm not making really any money on this. Um, I was kind of trying to get back what I put into it. But at this point, I'll just use them as like eBay enclosures. The profit on them was so, so tiny. Again, I was doing it to give myself something to do. And it was fun. And I do love, you know, I love stickers and magnets. Like I'll pick up stickers and magnets, but I just can't do it anymore. So I did take everything down. Um, so if you go to the Etsy shop, there are no more physical stickers or magnets. I'm going to be switching to clip art for that shop. And then my second Etsy shop is e-commerce printables. So I do want to thank all of you who've always purchased for me. I have so many repeat customers. Um, and I'm so thankful you guys kept me busy and occupied during a time when I needed something to do because things around the house were just so hard. And you know, even after my dad died, you guys just flooded me with orders and it kept me so busy and occupied. And I'm so thankful for that. And again, I loved it. If I had like, I didn't have anything else to do and could just like do it again. Sure. If, if my dad was still alive and I was still, you know, caregiving, I keep it going. Cause again, it was something to do, but I have to let it go because now I'm so stressed out about it. And I feel so bad when people are like, I didn't get my order. So anyway, they are gone now. I'll just use them as, I thought about too, like putting bundles together. They, again, it's so much work for such a little amount of money. I'd rather just like 
do something else with them. So thank you all for your business with those. I am putting clip art up. Again, the clip art that I've made is all up and I'm adding new designs that you can then take that image and order from Sticker Mule, which again, I know you don't want a whole pack, but like that's all I can do. It's all I can do. And I feel bad because I feel like I'm always disappointing people and people want something I can't give them, but it is what it is. That's all I can do. So there is the update on that. I'm bummed, but I got to do it. So I'm going into the consignment store now to drop. Whoa, I drop a toad off. Sorry, I almost dropped you, but that is the update for this morning. So onward. Oh, I'm going to drop you all. D hold on. Hold on. Okay, there you go. <laughs> this is the update for this morning. Let's hope the day gets better. Anyone else get lost driving around the city they've lived in their entire life? <laughs> Me. I didn't, well, I didn't get lost, lost, but I just, I didn't go where I thought it was going. And I had to go on another road and then turn around because that road was closed. And it was a detour, but I'm at the post office now, so. Check in the P.O. box. I wonder if there'll be a bunch of returned Etsy orders in here. No, nope. just one box to pick up, so. Okay, back in the car. The package that came, it was my own package that I sent out. Somebody had contacted me and they hadn't gotten their order on eBay. And it was moving. I'm like, well, that's weird. But since it was already in the system, I'm like, go ahead and open a claim through eBay and they should protect both of us, seller and buyer. And she did, and, and eBay covered it. They're like, yeah, it was moving, it's not. So they refunded the customer and they didn't take it out. I mean, the package is here, why? It was shipping via ground and I put it in a priority mailbox. Um. I've been selling online since 2005. What is right? This is, this is a result of me being too many things going on. And this confirms to me, I made the right decision shutting the stickers down because it's too much to run two different physical product stores that are completely different. It's too much um, with other stuff I'm doing. So I was so embarrassed. I'm like, oh my God, I know better. Why did I, do? but I was just, you know, some of these nights, again, the sticker orders, you know, it, it took a long time to do. I just, I just, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. Like that is not good. I think what I'm, what's tripping me up is I used to ship almost everything eBay priority mail because the way it worked is you'd offer parcel and priority buyer would choose parcel, but almost every time I could ship cheaper for, on priority and I'd get a free box. So I would upgrade them to priority. They'd get their package faster. Um, I could box. It was win-win for everybody. Now this new ground advantage almost all the time is cheaper than priority. So that's, you know, great for the customer, but I'm so used to grabbing priority mailboxes and just doing the upgrade Okay, then. Well, there's that. So, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> the lady must have thought I was, she's like, yeah, I came back because you put a ground advantage. This letter is to notify you of improper use of our postal supplies. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Oh, I'm gonna go to that Goodwill now and hopefully I don't embarrass myself there. So far I've gotten lost today. I've embarrassed myself in the post office. Ugh. We're not having a great day. Maybe we should just go home. No, I'm, out. I'm downtown. I'm going to go to the Goodwill and then I'll go home. And oh, I'm so Okay, bad. I have made it. They have flags out. I was driving around like, where the heck is it? Uh, what are those flags? Okay, uh, so if you are in the Waterloo area, it is on Jefferson and 5th. Corner of Jefferson and 5th um, across from Smitty's. If you know, you know. We got blow molds. Blow molds. Pretty small, but all the Christmas stuff. And the prices are crazy, of course. I think I'll get this for eBay, $4. Should be like a $25 thing. I don't know what Goodwill is smoking. They had two Patagonia like fleece up at the checkout, $60 each. I, 
most everything in there was just insane. But I did find three things for eBay. First is this little vintage dollhouse piece that I'm gonna list, really nice uh, quality. It is not marked, it says wherever it sold, it was originally $40. Um, a lot of times these older ones will have like a sticker on it, made in Taiwan or Japan, but I can tell that that is vintage. I did get the little spode salt and pepper. I'm gonna put this on eBay as well. And then this also, I got this for three. These can sell pretty well and I did make sure it worked. It was only three. So I think I can put that on eBay for a decent price as well. So now that I'm free from the stickers and magnets, I can have that time to list on eBay and I have things to list and I got some more and that will be a better source of income for me. Um, you know, because right now it is all about making that extra money that I can supposedly save for retirement or fund all of the emergency purchases like the washing machine, the dishwasher, the tractor. It just, when it rains, it pours. But you know what? That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm working these extra income streams um, so that I can get that extra money in and not feel strapped for cash, which is why I like to talk about extra streams of income so that if you too would like to get some extra money, you don't have to do any of these things that I do as a full scale business, but you can pick things up here and there at thrift stores to resell on eBay to again, get some extra money in. Who doesn't like extra money? Do you not like extra money? Leave a comment if you don't like extra money. I would like to know who you are. <laughs> and now this lady next to me is looking at me as I'm talking to myself. Okay, I'm just embarrassing myself all over town today. Okay, back home now. I'm going to insert a photo of the living room furniture here um, so you can see when it first came because <laughs> now there's blankets everywhere. So here's a picture of what it looked like before the blankets were put on it. Here's what we look like now. <laughs> so yeah, these dogs shed a lot. So blankets, it's a necessity and they love to be super cozy on it. Um, obviously we have people over, just take the blankets off, it'll protect it. I love to sit in this chair, rocker recliner. Love it, love it, love it. And I have one of our old end tables there. And then this, I just pile stuff on. <laughs> this will be a great, great for when, you know, the holidays and people are over. But when it's just us at home, it's just a nice cozy setup. I, it's too close to the window and it kind of smushes the curtains, but also this is obviously pretty tight, but I take a lot of packages in and out. So I need this open space. So it's, it's okay. And again, I keep reminding myself like this is my house. I live here with my dogs and this is the setup that works for us and not worry about like how it would look to other people. Because if I knew other people were coming over, I would clean it up a bit. But for just us, we're good. Right, boys? Yeah. They just had a treat. Okay. So it is much later. It is evening now. And I have spent my afternoon working on rebranding my eBay store and my Etsy shops. So I've renamed my eBay store, and I've not changed the name of my eBay store since I started it in 2005. So it's gone from Annabelle's Gift Shop to Eckhart Antiques and Vintage Collectibles and Retro Treasures. So that is what the eBay store is. So same, everything, you know, listing the same, but I have totally rebranded it, and I'm very happy because I thought if I had a brick and mortar store, I would call it Eckhart Antiques, so... I love that. And then over on Etsy, the um, Jean Lee Publishing that was the sticker and magnet shop is now Eckhart Clip Art. So I'm excited about that. It's a nice streamline and it's just clip art. And I've been making my shop sections based on the theme. Uh, but they are still buy five, get 50% off. And then my second Etsy shop, which I had called Ann Eckhart e-commerce, I've changed to Eckhart Printables. So I have Eckhart Antiques, Eckhart Printables, Eckhart Clip Art. And my only Facebook page I'm going to be using now will be my Ann Eckhart Facebook page. I'm going to keep the See and Save Freebies and Deals group going. So that is still there. Um, but I will be simplifying so I won't have the other... Um, Facebook pages and Instagram, all that stuff. I'm just streamlining everything to be as simple as possible. So I'm very happy with the changes. So, and been having sales on both uh, sites, both printables and clip art 
every day. So I just need to keep adding in product and watching this grow. And this then becomes completely passive because the files are uploaded when somebody makes a purchase, they automatically get the file, they download it and we're done. Um, so no inventory, no shipping. I don't even know that I've got an order unless I actually go in and look. So this is the business model, the uh, digital product on Etsy that I'm absolutely loving. And now with the time I'm not going to be spending on the stickers and magnets, I can then turn to getting more listings up on eBay because I have all of this. Now, I've said before many times, not all of this is for eBay. Some of my own personal stuff is mixed in, but I just haven't gotten to it. So I will now have the time to do that. But I did have a sale. I'm still getting things listed because I had um, ended all my listings so I could inventory because I was having issues with things selling that weren't on the site. And I took a best offer of $19 for this Hallmark ornament, the Coyote Contraption from Looney Tunes. It's a magic-y thing, I don't know. Anyway, um, someone paid 19 plus shipping on this, so get this packaged up and out in tomorrow's mail.